Welcome back Medicos. In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of sensory receptors and their pathways. Understanding how our body detects and processes environmental signals is crucial for grasping the complexities of human physiology. Let's get started. Section one, sensory receptors, general overview. Sensory receptors are specialized epithelial cells or neurons that convert environmental signals into neural signals. These environmental signals include mechanical force, light, sound, chemicals, and temperature. Let's break down the types of sensory transducers. One, types of sensory transducers, A, mechanoreceptors, Pacinian corpuscles, detect deep pressure and vibration, joint receptors, sense, joint position and movement, stretch receptors in muscles, monitor muscle length and tension, hair cells in auditory and vestibular systems, detect sound and head position, bearer receptors in carotid sinus, measure blood pressure changes, B photoreceptors, rods and cones of the retina detect light and color, enabling vision, C chemoreceptors, olfactory receptors, detect smells, taste receptors, identify different tastes, osmoreceptors, sense changes in osmotic pressure, carotid body O2 receptors, monitor oxygen levels in the blood, D nociceptors, detect extremes of temperature and pain, crucial for survival and protection. Section two, sensory receptor functions. Fiber types and conduction velocity. Sensory neurons vary in fiber types and conduction velocities, impacting how quickly signals are transmitted to the brain. Receptive field. A receptive field is an area of the body that, when stimulated, changes the firing rate of a sensory neuron. If the firing rate increases, it's excitatory. If it decreases, it's inhibitory. Steps in sensory transduction. First, stimulus arrival. A stimulus like light, a molecule of sodium chloride or skin pressure arrives at the sensory receptor. Next, ion channel opening. Ion channels in the receptor open, allowing current to flow, typically inward, causing depolarization. There's an exception though. In photoreceptors, light decreases inward current and causes hyperpolarization. Then, receptor potential. The change in membrane potential is the receptor potential. If it's large enough, it exceeds the threshold, triggering and action potential. Finally, graded potentials, receptor potentials vary in size based on the stimulus magnitude. Adaptation of sensory receptors. Slowly adapting or tonic receptors such as muscle spindles and pressure sensors respond repetitively to prolonged stimuli, detecting steady conditions. On the other hand, rapidly adapting or phasic receptors like Pacinian corpuscles and light touch sensors show a decline in action potential frequency with constant stimulation, detecting changes in stimuli onset and offset. Section three, sensory pathways to the cerebral cortex. Sensory receptors activated by environmental stimuli transduce these stimuli into electrical energy known as receptor potential. First order neurons, or primary afferent neurons, receive transduced signals and send information to the central nervous system. Their cell bodies reside in dorsal root or spinal cord ganglia. Second order neurons. Located in the spinal cord or brain stem, they receive information from primary afferent neurons and relay it to the thalamus. Their axons may cross the midline, sending sensory data from one body side to the contralateral thalamus. Third order neurons found in the thalamus relay nuclei, they send encoded sensory information to the cerebral cortex. Fourth order neurons. Located in the appropriate sensory areas of the cerebral cortex, these neurons enable conscious perception of stimuli. Each type of receptor and its corresponding neural pathway plays a vital role in how we perceive and respond to our environment. Keep this knowledge in mind as you continue your medical journey, medicos. Stay curious and keep learning. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insightful videos. See you next time.